Hello, today we are going to create a page in Mahara. So what you need to do is first open a browser and I would suggest Google Chrome. If you have a PC, you go to your start menu and look for Google Chrome. I'm using a Mac, so everything should look the same from now. Okay, so here's my window, here's my browser window. Go to cu Moodle dot coventry dot ac dot uk press my ePortfolio so click on my ePortfolio and then go ahead and enter your username and your password and then press login okay so now we have our page for Mahara the first thing that you want to do is click on portfolio. Here you will see an index of your pages. I have several because I've created several pages over the last few weeks. You may have just two, the dashboard page and profile, profile page. The first thing that you need to do is click on create page. Here we'll have uh, the page title, description, and of course the save button which is always very important. The first thing you wish to do is create a title. So we're going to call this Week X uh, Portfolio. And of course, X means whichever week you are talking about. And here you can just put a description. So this page is for my weekly writing portfolio assignments. Okay. After you've written your description, click on Save. And then we have this page that comes up. So click on Edit Layout. And then go ahead and select the two column layout by clicking on this button. And then click on Save. Then we need to add our portfolio. So click on Text Box, drag it. You'll see the background becomes yellow. Put the text box there and then we'll see a window open up that looks like this. Again, here we should put a title for our box. So we'll call it Week X Writing Portfolio. Okay, and then here we can write our uh, portfolio task or if you want you can take it from another file. So for example, here is my text from a Word document. All I do is I highlight it and go to edit and click on copy. And then we come back here and then we go to edit and then paste. Okay, and then you see that we have all of the text. Now I can maybe highlight it or put some kind of formatting. So for example, there's bold, okay. And then here is for example, italics. Okay, so anyway, so that's done. So then we scroll down and we click on save. And then here is my week X writing portfolio with some text. Now, your teacher may want you to include a file. So if your teacher wants you to include a file, you should click on the cog which is this button. So click on that and then choose a file from your computer. And from choose files, you can find it anywhere on your computer. Okay. And then of course you should click save. Okay. When you're done, you should always click on done. And then it will take you back to the pages index where you see all of your pages. So again, this is what we have created. If we click on this now, we will see we have a writing portfolio page. And that's it. It's just that easy.